Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to Art of Awakening. My name is Ona, and today I'm going to share some of the spiritual meanings of dandelion. Uh, it's one of my favorite little flowers, and that's it's going to include a spiritual meaning that was just kind of given to me the other day that I think is really going to shed a lot of light for uh, some of us on uh, the ascension process, whether it's your own individual one or the collective ascension that we're all in right now. And before we start, I want to just invite all of you to uh, join me on Patreon. I have a brand new Patreon set up and this is just where it's just a little bit of monthly support it can help this channel to grow. and. Um, well, we'll be doing fun things. I do a weekly reading for the butterfly level and for the wolf pack level we get together once a week and uh, do some pretty cool stuff. So I hope to see you there. So dandelion is one of these plants that people either love or they hate. <laughs> and um, you know we all know the, the just the perennial battle with dandelions that that people have when they really want a pure, you know, green grassy lawn. Um, but dandelion actually has a, a lot of beautiful characteristics. And first of all, as one of my viewers pointed out a, a, a while ago, it's one of the first flowers to come out in the spring and it comes out in abundance. So it's a really, really important first food source for the bees after a long winter when they really need to come out and, and receive nourishment from the flowers. Um, so, you know, that's just a beautiful aspect of it. Um, but one thing about the plant is that it's, it's really adaptable and it's really, really tenacious. So it's got this really deep, deep, deep taproot that just burrows down into the earth. And it's really got a lot of survivor kind of um, feeling to it, this plant. It's a, um, it, it's one of the plants that will go in where the sto soil has been disturbed and is able to just start to recolonize an area. And, and so it's got this kind of initiating sort of, um, you know, let's, let's take the land back sort of feel to it. Um, and if you ever have kind of looked at dandelions and if, if it's in an area where it's not mown, it sends up this big long stalk, right? Now we haven't mowed our grass yet this year, so we're, we're getting, getting the longer stalks. But if it's a lawn that's been mowed or is mowed a lot, then it tends to stay really short. So it's really sort of adaptable to circumstances and um, kind of able to survive regardless of what's thrown at it. Um, so really, really nice totem for, or herb to work with for like the root chakra, I feel, but it's also got this real solar plexus kind of feel to it. Um, very, very strong plant, a lot of life force energy. And in the spring, it will shoot up these flowers that are just very, very solar, right? It looks like the little sun. And so it's got this real kind of, uh, if you think of the solar plexus chakra and that kind of energy to it, uh, the, the name dandelion um, is French for lion's tooth. Let me pick a, a leaf here for you. So the leaf of the dandelion um, reminded somebody of a lion's tooth, those jagged edges. Um, and so we've got that whole lion kind of energy around it too, right? Uh, the courage <laughs> and, um, you know, just the, the knowing of self, right? A very kind of almost regal, even though the dandelion is kind of considered a lowly herb, right? So there's a certain humility that it brings with us that kind of counteracts that, that whole lion ego thing, right? Dandelion can kind of laugh of it, at itself. Um, so. I, I kind of think of this as this beautiful, you know, beautiful herb for finding oneself, right? And it's it's supposed to be very good for the liver. Um, dandelion is a diuretic, so it's a clearing and cleansing kind of herb as well. 
and the whole plant is edible <laughs> you know root leaf stem flower you name it so dandelion's been working with me lately and it kind of is showing up uh, a lot when i when i kind of tune in and a, a little while ago i sort of had this vision and i'm going to show you the the drawing the artwork that came out of it um so we have this beautiful kind of ethereal almost it really reminds me of a galactic kind of kind of um, being here and with the dandelion and so as i worked with this image and felt into it i was given this message and this is how dandelion actually embodies this idea of when it first comes up it's this bright sunny and very kind of um assertive flower right and it's it's really just kind of claiming its space and then it has to close up and, and this flower actually actually closes up and it sort of retreats and then it comes back again with the you know the the dandelion blow that we know right the the seeds with the silky um you know the, the silky threads on them that you can blow and the seeds go all over the place and um, so what I was really shown was that this is a metaphor for ascension and and this is a a, a process that I, I think I've been going through in the ascension process that maybe not everybody does but I think it's a pattern that's common and that I am kind of being given that we may see this pattern in the greater collective as we work through this this global um, planetary ascension and that is um, I know you know if you've been in this awakening you know process y you start out with like just kind of coming to light right you start seeing angels and you start seeing synchronicities and you you know you have visions and whatever you know whatever it is um, you you start awakening to spirit right and in that process it's sort of like the dandelion shooting up and blooming right it's a blooming open of your spiritual self and in that process you come to know yourself right the little bit more of the truth of yourself that's that solar plexus it's a it's a it's a kind of a dynamic process right most people as they start to awaken they're like you know eating up information they need to know you know what does this mean what does that mean it's very very dynamic sometimes you overcome things right you um, learn to have boundaries and to stick up for your rights and and sometimes when you get through an experience like that it feels like you're like oh I've kind of made it right I I'm you know I've, I've reached this point of I know who I am and it's time to really step forward and you know be who I'm meant to be in the world and to live my purpose and all this stuff and I know for me, it's like I reached that point and I was all full of this kind of almost hubris, right? <laughs> and then I found for the next like two or three years, it was like, it was, it was almost, it was like a struggle. It was like, what's going on here? I thought I kind of went through this, this trial period. And here, you know, it was a, a beautiful time too. A lot of beautiful things happening, but it was like, wow, I'm, you know, I'm still got struggles that I'm working with. And it, for me, it ended up being a very physical, um, you know, like, like auto, almost autoimmune kind of thing happening. It's like, wait a sec. I thought I kind of went through my deal and here it is. And I'm dealing with all this stuff and what happened eventually was that i had to really retreat and go within and then there's another thing about dandelion that i, I didn't mention earlier and that, that it's got this kind of milky sap to it and that to me is like this the, like mother's milk right it's it it talks about 
this nourishing quality of the mother and remember dandelion's got this beautiful connection and very very deep very strong connection with mother earth and it's almost like you know the sap goes from the the tip of the roots all the way up to the flower it's like pulling it's almost like it, it, it's got this direct line to this mother nourishment, right? It's the di plant itself doesn't so much embody the mother, but it's got this direct connection to her. Okay, and and so when I came to this point where I, I just finally needed to just go to stillness and go within and just really close in on myself, and what happened was I really connected with that mother energy. And then I was able to kind of come back up. And it, it, it kind of feels like, and I, maybe I'm premature in saying this, but it really feels like I'm feeling a lot more ready now to just really live my purpose and what I'm ready to do. And, and this is kind of the message that I got was that Dandelion shows us that sometimes it's like when we reach that point, sometimes to get to the next stage to where you're fruitful because remember those little seeds that's the fruit of the dandelion right this it's almost like seeds of wisdom being able to be um you know sent out because the dandelion flowers and then it has to go in before it can actually share you know its its seeds of wisdom and the reason I'm sharing this is that if you have been in this, you know, awakening ascension cycle for a long time and it feels like there's so much struggle, why is this so hard? <laughs> you know, it feels like I've, I've, I've done, you know, I've, I've, I've done the work and why? You know, why aren't I seeing all the abundance? Why am I still struggling with my health? Why, why this, why that? Um, you know, maybe this isn't the pattern for you, but this is a pattern that I've noticed. And it may be just that, maybe it is time to go within for a while and unplug and really just feel into the stillness and find that nurturing energy there. And then the other thing is that I'm sort of getting the feeling that this may actually happen in the collective as well. Um, and it's mirrored in the hero's journey, um, which is kind of this mythological um, sequence that happens um, where the hero goes out and has to fulfill a task, right? And then they fulfill the task, but then they still have that journey home. And in the journey home, near the end of it, there's going to be another big kind of showdown, right? Um, and that going home is sort of like that that going within a little bit. And that's what prepares you for this final kind of having to overcome the resistance. And what I'm feeling in the collective is that we may see a pattern like this where it feels like, like it, it felt like at the end, you know, um, Towards the end of 2019, beginning of 2020, it kind of felt like, wow, we're having this big awakening and things are happening and people are waking up and, you know, humanity is starting to remember who we are and it felt so victorious, right? And then this whole 2020 hit, it's like, wow. <laughs> and it feels like we may be going into a period of trial, right? Um, and, and typically what this is, is that the, the resistance within us, it, it comes forward because it's being challenged. And when the resistance comes forward at this time, it really gives it all it's got because it's sort of got its back to the wall, right? And that's why things are so hard because you've proven yourself as like a warrior, right? And now they're like, oh my God, I'm facing a warrior and <laughs> I got to put up all the resistance I can and try to get that warrior to go back down. The thing is that the more you try to fight and fight and fight, the more you try to fight and fight and fight, the more you're kind of still, because this is all based on fear. And if it feels like it's being fought against, it just 
puts up more and more barriers, right? Or it fights harder and harder. And so if you're trying to fight fighting energy with fighting energy, it's just going to clash and it's going to be struggle. Um, so think in terms of a martial artist who's able to just kind of relax and come to stillness. Remember that the really great martial artists, they know how to relax and they know how to step away and allow their opponent to expend all this energy and tire themselves out, right? And so that's kind of what this is. It's, it's coming back, stepping away, coming back into oneself and realizing that that apparent opponent is, is just, it's fighting against nothing and, and you can step away from it all. We really can step away from it all. And I think, you know, some of this can be bypassed um, you know, whether it's, I, I don't know that we can be fully bypassed. I think this coming within is a really important stage. Um, but if you can use that coming within and, and maybe do it a little sooner, um, cause like if you got strong warrior energy, you're going to kind of fight and fight and fight and fight. You're going to wear yourself out, <laughs> right? That's what I did. I wore my body down. Um, but I think if we, if you can be aware of this pattern and come to stillness sooner and really, really connect with that mother, that nurturing energy within yourself and start asking yourself questions like, what do I really want? And feel into where the resistance is within yourself. And then you can talk to yourself and say, hey, you know, that's not true. I do deserve this. I do, you know, I, I, um, I, I am strong, I know who I am, and, you know, I, um, I just can create the life that I want intentionally without fighting, and I don't need to fight to do it. Um, you know, there, there's a time for fighting. There definitely is, and there may, there may come a time where all of us are asked to you know, kind of stand up and, and fight, but I think more often than not, it's just the quiet acceptance of self and the quiet claiming of your true identity that says a lot more and it's a lot actually stronger than, than going out with guns blazing. All right, so um, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to actually put this painting up on my website and uh, if it's calling to you I, I'm not doing a print of it but uh, there may be one person that it's meant for so if that's you then I'm going to put that link below and also if you're interested in, in more dandelion I'll leave the link to a dandelion meditation that um, that I did for a night and world network a while back earlier this spring and this one actually calls on the galactics and and that's the last message i want to leave to you this idea of the seeds going out from the dandelion and part of this is there's so much angelic support there's so much galactic support right now and but we do need to kind of call out for it and so especially if you are at this point where you have kind of been through this entire cycle and have gotten to that point of almost like kind of maturity there's there's so much there's so much you know so much work to do in terms of really opening up and you know extending our hearts and our awareness to our galactic brothers and sisters and even if you don't believe in them you don't have to believe in aliens or anything it's just the concept of you know the the spiritual support that's out there that even if you reach out to them and don't believe in them uh, that's all right because you're activating something you're activating something that affects the field affects everyone on the earth right um, the self-love that you do any gratitude any reaching out for the angels that really does make a difference so have a lovely lovely day and i'll catch you again soon